Well, something new today. No dirty dining. Instead, we are going to turn the tables and honor the places that recently had no violations during their routine unannounced state inspections. So do we call this clean dining then? I, it, the name? it works for me. Okay. <laughs> Here's Local 10 investigator Jeff Weins here with tonight's Clean Dining Awards. <laughs> I would like to talk to a manager, please. We are in a Deerfield Beach institution. It's Bob's Pizza, Amante's Italian cuisine, and it's located just steps west of the Deerfield Beach Pier. You have any idea why I'm here today? I have no idea. At all. DBPR came, they inspected you. You had zero violations, it was oh, perfect. Okay, that's beautiful. I've been there 47 years, I guess uh, we learned over the years. So we're going to put that right there. And let people know that you have a clean restaurant. Thank you very much. Amante's plan for keeping his place roach and rodent free is checking boxes outside before bringing them in. Split them open, see if they're really bad. We'll leave them outside, we'll bring them in one, one at a time, tell you the truth. And that, that keeps a lot of the roaches away. Bob happily takes us back to his kitchen. You didn't know we were coming, and this place is spotless. Yes. You have to stay on top of it and on top of your staff. And insists we see his bathrooms. It starts from the bathroom, I'll be honest with you. I'm very proud of my, of my restaurant and obviously I'm showing you my bathrooms. We thank you for putting our health and our safety as a priority. We will stay in Deerfield Beach, Nick's Pizza, located at 137 Northeast 2nd Avenue. It's right across from City Hall. You know how many violations you got? No. You don't remember? I don't remember. You got zero violations. You're a clean restaurant. So we want to give you the Clean Plate Award. Dominic is Nick's son. And while Nick's not here, get this, Nick started his pizza career at the place we were just at, Bob's. Honestly, we just scrub it. Scrub it every night, make sure it's clean. And that's it, keep up with our stuff. We've been here for a while and there's a reason why we're here. So it's been about solid almost 20 years. <laughs> Since we're on a roll in Deerfield, let's head to 1330 South Federal Highway. Adam Harb was locking Moe's Deli and Grill up. Despite their zero violations on a recent inspection, this place can't operate without staff. You put out help wanted. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, nothing, nobody worked. You'll still take the award I'll though, take right? The award. Yeah, I'll take the All award. All right, here's the award. When are you opening back up so we can tell people? December. Their clean kitchen and their menu go hand in hand. Keep everything clean. What you would put on your table is what we give to our customers here. We try to do our best for our customers. We head to unincorporated Northwest Miami Dade 18750 Northwest 67th Avenue to be exact and to this Taco Bell. And we want to give you local 10 zero violations clean plate award so you can display it here because you have a clean taco bell oh thank you so much we appreciate it so how do you keep up the employees they're like they're the most important part of the whole process we give very few of these out because very few places have no violations congratulations and thank you for keeping it clean for us yeah you're welcome so much jeff weiss here local 10 news that's nice. It I'm makes glad my heart that, happy. Yeah, me too. That we got to <laughs> praise the good restaurants out there. It's so important for a list of other places with zero violations. Simply head to local10.com. You can also scan this QR code right there. It'll take you right to our dirty dining section. You see, Jeff has got a heart after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he's going to come get you.